Pipes. Let's see if we can hear what they sound like. Driving, it's um, not finished. They're still buttoning up to do of wires and things, but it is driving. So um, I'm gonna show you some stuff. It's got the same electric start as the Porsche, same steering wheel. Uh, this one though has reverse, so I'm gonna show you. about that suspension so it's got uh, Polaris uh, quad 
front and rear suspension, independent rear, independent front. I basically cut the uh, suspension off of the chassis from the quad and then built this chassis <coughs> for the Land Rover body. Uh, it's kind of cool. The whole body hinges up. You can kind of see this chassis. Um, we shortened the wheelbase about 10 inches and shoved the motor about 10 inches forward as well. Try to keep all the weight forward. Battery, fuel tank, radiator, everything as far forward as we could put it. Uh, don't mind the wiring mess. But uh, yeah, independent rear suspension is pretty cool. It's got a sway bar um, and it's posi drive. It's all, I stole all that from the quad. And uh, yeah, it's supposed to handle pretty well and it seems to be. Again, these are first kind of trial runs. Um, just excited. Had to, uh, had to come out and play with it. The uh, body's got a little frame inside and it latches down, so there's no tools you need to flip the body up. It's pretty, pretty on there. So a couple other details about this guy is uh, like those wheels and tires, uh, 10 inch, just aluminum blue label wheels, real lightweight. Uh, with a uh, 21 by 7 by 10 Sun F tire. Pretty cool. They have definitely been hooking up well. This gas cap's kind of funny. We found out that it uh, is vented and basically sprays gas directly in your face when you're trying to drive. So, built a little hat for it. Get the gas out of your face. Put a uh, little recovery stinger on the back here and just added a one gallon. Rotopax fuel can because the uh, gas tank's pretty small. And a little novelty license plate for the 525 RFS motor. This thing has turned out quite nice. Uh, the exhaust I thought was going to be way too loud. It actually just sounds awesome. Uh, the doors keep kind of opening and blowing off when we're out riding. So I might actually end up making those close and stay shut. But if I do that, we're going to put a little uh, light bar across the top and a little frame inside a little better look at the chassis we've got a very unprotected radiator that I uh, will build a winch bumper and a little steel front support protect that thing here's a better look at those pipes custom made headers true dual exhaust little Harley mufflers on, uh, on each side here very cool. It's my little latch for holding the body down. There's one on each side. You can also pull these pins back here and just pop the whole body off. I'm gonna have some lighting wiring and stuff in there too, but that'll all just unplug. Also painstakingly cut out this front grill so that the radiator could breathe because it was just you know some stock plastic before. Didn't allow for any airflow, so and it's got a electric fan in here too. Help with that as well. Pretty sweet. Batteries stuffed down in here. A little battery box I made, and <laughs> still has the VIN from the quad chassis, so it's actually registered in Oregon as a Polaris quad. This is currently how I've got the cable set up for pulling the hydraulic master cylinder for the clutch it's not my favorite but it does work same with the uh, front brake master cylinder we actually have on order some Magura radial hydraulic uh, master cylinders both for the brake and the clutch Magura said they'd hook me up pretty sweet so we're waiting on those that might end up changing the steering wheel around a little bit um, also back here, I got a nice little steel bumper, integrated trailer hitch, trailer hitch is all integrated into the frame, uh, and the rear shock, uh, tower more or less. Pretty cool. I've got a, uh, idea to put like my pit bike on the back of it on a little, little rack or something. We'll see. Yeah, that's a glimpse under the hood. Got a plastic seat. Um, 
<laughs> Still no chain guard, but we'll get one on there. And uh, button up some wiring. There's my shifter linkage. Very similar to how I did the Porsche. And then the, uh, the brakes over here. Just a simple little mechanical lever thing. 